This video is brought to you by Carter Enterprises, serving all your technology needs. And I'm not just dissing on ASUS when I bitch about these cases. Um, they really are much harder than they need to be to get into. Um, and I think a lot of these companies do that so then they can um, keep you from being able to upgrade them easily. But now that that's done, whole case comes off fairly easily. Like I was doing before, just run your fingernail around the side and just release the clips. And then this thing actually comes up, pulls forward, lifts off. Again, you've got another ribbon cable right here. Um, I always undo this one. It is possible to undo this without undoing that one. But I find it to be um, a real pain in the butt to leave that on there, so I pull it off. Um, I'm also going to get some better pictures of this once we're done here. Okay. Now this is the uh, easy part out of all of this. Get your uh, new drive out of its protective coating here, which I am not a fan whatsoever of these stupid cases that they put on everything, especially when I'm buying them from my supplier, which is just a wholesaler. And they know we're not putting these in a retail location, and they don't sell really for retail locations, and we still have to cut off all that junk. But there's the drive. Really light drive, because obviously it's just an SSG, there's nothing to it. Now, you want to be careful, keep all your screws where they need to be. These are all the external case screws, and these are all the internals, and I like to separate them at least decently there, so I know what I've got going on. Next, you're going to pull out the hard drive. The hard drive, you have to unscrew these two side panels. And these screws I would keep separate so you can put them back with the hard drive because I think they are slightly differently. And one other thing you can see that ASUS does that really hard, I don't think any of the other OEM brands does is they spend a little bit more money and they put really good hard drives in there. And the best hard drives you can get for standard uh, rotational discs, and you can see most of the weight there is the hard drive, obviously, because now it won't sit flat. Um, are Western Digitals. Unbelievably good hard drives. They last forever. They work really, really well. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull off these. Now, one thing I would recommend you do is pull one side off at a time so you can remember which way they go on um, so you can keep your orientation correct because it needs to be like that. Um, I've done this enough times to where I can just pull it and I don't forget. But if you're doing this for the first time, you want to make sure it's right so you don't have to pull this whole thing open. Now these screws are definitely different than the rest, so make sure you keep them separate. One thing I do like about the OCZs is they're um, where you put your screws in slightly recessed. Oh, and you're telling me on this drive it's too much. And for the first time ever, this is the first drive I've gotten from them that it's recessed too far. The screws are not going to reach, are they? No, they are not. Oh, well, yep, they will. Just enough. Just need to get a couple threads in there because it's not going to be. This thing doesn't weigh anything. I'm not worried about it. You know, coming out or anything like that. Okay. Gonna have to find some longer screws. Yes, I do have too many damn screws, I know. Uh, but hopefully, I have something in here that will fit better and work better with this. Looks like this one might have a slightly longer thread. Yep, there you go. The question is, will it fit in here still with that longer thread? Yes, it will. Sweet, we're in business. And I should have a couple of those. 
But you can see what I mean. There, there are some things you just can't predict. Uh, my OCZ, I guess the um, case on it's slightly different. So I didn't have to change screws on it. This one, uh, I do. It's one of those things you run into when you're doing these. Not a big deal. Luckily, well, since I have the screws, it's not a big deal. But if you didn't have the screws, you can... A lot of local computer stores will have screws that you can just buy bulk. And you just need to find some screws that will fit it properly. I can't use the original screws at all on this side. Nice thing about these SSDs too is because they're so light, you don't have to worry too much about these screws being extremely tight either because it's not going to go anywhere. With the way it's held down in this um, casing of this netbook, it's not going to go anywhere at all. You know, this screw, of course, is going to give me problems just because I'm on video. Come out. Again, another use for the pliers. There you go. That screw's not going to work. I'm going to have to find a different one. That screw is not going to work. There we go. That's ready to go back in now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It fit before and now it's not going to fit. What the hell? Come on. Come on, you little bastard. And if anyone's wondering, yes, talking dirty to computers does help. <laughs> 